the earth the earth is the third nearest planet to the sun in size it is the fifth largest planet it is slightly flattened at the poles this is why its shape is described as a geoid geoid means an earth like shape conditions favorable to support life are probably found only on the earth the earth is neither too hot nor too cold it has water and air which are very essential for our survival the air has life supporting gases like oxygen because of these reasons the earth is a unique planet in the solar system from the outer space the earth appears blue because its two thirds surface is covered by water it is therefore called a blue planet the moon our earth has only one satellite that is the moon its diameter is only one quarter that of the earth it appears so big because it is nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies it is about 3 lakh 84400 km away from us now you can compare the distance of the earth from the sun and that from the moon the moon moves around the earth in about 27 days it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin as a result only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth the moon does not have conditions favorable for life it has mountains plains and depressions on its surface these cast shadows on the moon's surface look at the full moon and observe these shadows Do you know light travels at the speed of about 3 lakh kilometers per second yet even with the speed the light of the sun takes about 8 minutes to reach the earth interesting fact neil armstrong was the first man to step on the surface of the moon on 21st july 1969 find out whether any indian has landed on the moon a satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planets in the same way as the planets move around the sun a human made satellite is an artificial body it is designed by scientists to gather information about the universe or for communication it is carried by a rocket and placed in the orbit around the earth some of the indian satellites in space are insat irs edusat etc what do animals and plants require in order to grow and survive animals and plants require air water food in order to grow and survive asteroids apart from the stars planets and satellites there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun these bodies are called asteroids they are found between the orbits of mars and jupiter scientists are of the view that asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back meteoroids the small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteoroids sometimes these meteoroids come near the earth and tend to drop upon it during this process due to friction with the air they get heated up and burn it causes a flash of light sometimes a meteor without being completely burnt falls on the earth and creates a hollow do you see a whitish broad band like a white glowing path across the sky on a clear starry night 
It is a cluster of millions of stars. This band is the Milky Way galaxy. Our solar system is a part of this galaxy. In ancient India, it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky. Thus, it was named Akash Ganga. A galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases. There are millions of such galaxies that make the universe. It is difficult to imagine how big the universe is. Scientists are still trying to find out more and more about it. We are not certain about its size, but we know that all of us, you and I, belong to this universe. Can you relate yourself with the universe now? You are on the earth and the earth is a part of the solar system. Our solar system is a part of the Milky Way galaxy which is part of the universe. Think about the universe and the fact that it contains millions of such galaxies. How do you fit in the picture? Subscribe to my channel. Click on bell icon to get notification about new videos.